I may be the only person to ever say this, I don't know, maybe I'm not, but I find beer to be a lot like people. There are bitter ones, sweet ones, sour ones, nasty ones, enjoyable ones, and a little combination of all of the above, wouldn't you say? (laughs) There are beer snobs out there who can't wait to tell you why you should not like a particular beer, and much like wine, I can't wait to tell them to kick rocks. I like what I like. I don't rank beers, I don't score beers. And I've been known plenty of times to pull up a Pinky Masters and have a good old plain Jane PBR. It all depends on my mood. But when I'm over the bridge in Bluffton, my absolute favorite spot for a cold beer there is here. Tucked away in a warehouse complex a mile or so off of Old Town Bluffton is arguably the best brewery in this area. For my money anyway, and it's called Lot 9. And it's fantastic. I did not come for this project. I came for another project in the area. Uh, from concept to uh, uh, tuition, I, I opened uh, another brewery. Uh, put all the equipment in, made all the recipes, got all the brews going. Stayed there for a couple of years. I uh, really always wanted to have my own uh, stake in the game and have my own brewery. Walter Fari is the brewer here a lot now. There's no other way to describe this place, but as a warehouse space built into a brewing facility and tasting room out front. Simple enough, even if it did take a few years to get to this point. Uh, Dana and I met through a warranty claim on my house. He makes hurricane shutters. Uh, I was the uh, upset homeowner with a warranty claim and I was ready to go at it with him. And I told him, make sure you tell the owner I'm gonna sue him if he doesn't get this right. And he said, I'm the owner. Hi, I'm Dana. And so I dropped my attitude and, and I honestly really, really appreciated that. Walt and his now business partner, Dana, got to talking about beer. Walt had spent a couple of decades doing the brew pub thing in his native New York state, as well as mass production brews in Delaware and North Carolina. But making more beer wasn't necessarily the end game for Walter. Eventually moved to Delaware, and I worked in uh, Fordham Brewing Company there, and I ran that for 10 years, running mass, big, uh, 40,000 barrel a year production, um, and learned a great deal. But what I lost there was the interaction with the guests and the people that were drinking your beer. That brought him down south to add not only a more personal touch to a new brewery down the street, but a more convenient lifestyle. That was when he met. Dana. We did have a conversation of me wanting to leave the current business and I uh, saw what he was doing and wanted to help him. Once I showed him the brewery side, I said I've always wanted to own a brewery. He said, you know, I've always wanted to have some skin in that game too, but I never knew a brewer. So I joked like our eyes met, you know, and we both both had visions that really seemed to click. That set them on a path to create something unique here in Bluffton. Initially, they had a space that Dana owned, but that didn't work out. And when it came time to really, the rubber hit the ground, we started some renovation and found out quickly the neighbors didn't want it there. So they fought us. So back to the drawing board. Uh, it took a little over a year. We finally found this place that was somewhat affordable. Uh, you know, we didn't have money boiling, burning our holes in our pockets. And we were able to get in this place. We had a great landlord here. And uh, he said, yeah, why don't you do what you want to do? And we wanted to do it. And we started working on this building right away. And they have. They've been popular practically since the day they opened in July 2020. Yes, smack dab in the middle of the teeth of the pandemic. But they caught on quickly. Not only because they're really just a neighborhood tap room tucked away deep inside of Bluffton, but because they really are making great beer here. With attention to detail that the others might say they are following, but here at Lot 9, you just know that they are. Fair enough. I think you're going to get them. You're going to get it to be tchotchke. You know, you're going to get a beer made right. I want what I put into that beer, like your glass right there and the lacing on your glass. And then know that glass is beer clean. Know that everything I worked hard is there's nothing, inter- no interference. You're going to get a beer with no interference. And be it that uh, dirt from a glass, a improper pour. Uh, A standard he maintains not only for himself, but because he knows the beer police are in the area. Yes, even here in little old Bluffton. Yeah, I truly think so. Uh, I think some are in the shadows. Yeah, you don't, they don't like to speak up these days. You know, you, you say one thing wrong on an, and whatever platform. Um, certainly the, the beer enthusiasts on the Facebook page, they, they're dedicated folks. I mean, they are at every release. They want to go. They're tasting and talking about beer more than I really ever thought was happening down here. Because the bottom line, Jesse, is I want my beer to do exactly what you hear in the background here. I want 
want conversations. I want good times. I want laughter. I want I want my beer to be a catalyst. And that, that's what got me hooked in brewing, besides the fun of beer. That's really what got me hooked.